yeah hello thank you guys for watching thank you guys we have another presentation right now and this is about choosing the right time frame for trading or investing we will get into it the main thing here is about time frames what time frame do you want to use if you are day trading or you're investing we don't know yet but we will look into it and talk about it thank you let's get into it okay first of all we want to talk about the importance of time frames time frames they are really important why first of all they give you an overview on your position in a trade or in a stock they want to tell you where you are right now in a stock we all heard about about buy low and sell high or sell high and buy low this means that you want to know your position right so that's the first thing about time frames they are telling you your position right now at the moment in a stock okay so the next thing about time frames they tell you the history of the stock if chosen perfectly if you have chosen your time frame right you will you will see the history of that stock so it is really important to know how to choose your time frame because it might affect the way you read the history of a stock okay or an asset they allow you okay, the third part is they allow you to take a better decision because you know your position simple please subscribe to my channel let's get into it so first of all time frame to use on chart when trading we know we have different style of trading i talk about it in one of my video we have scalp trading so which time frame do you want to choose in scalp trading scalp trading i want to remind you i want to refresh your mind scalp trading is a quick trade it's a trade that you want to get in just get a little profit with a lot of share and you get out quick it's something quick you don't spend hours in a scalp trade okay so a scalp trade is really quick so the main time frame that you want to use is one minute sometimes some people have access to one second two second three second but the average trader you want to use one minute associated with an hourly chart because the thing you want to be watching an hourly chart and with a one minute chart time frame you can take a decision get in the stock quickly and get out let's look at the next one the next one is day trading time frame when you are day trading the best time frames are two minute three minutes five minutes and 15 minutes but for my own preference, I always use two minutes or five minutes. And overall, I have decided to stick with five minutes because it is really uh, calm. You don't have a lot of noise. With a two minute, you got a lot of stuff going on in two minutes. And each candlestick represents two minutes. So it cannot be fast. It's hard to take a decision. So five minutes gonna be calm. You can take your decision anytime you want but after each five minute time frame. So when you associate a time frame of five minutes with a daily a daily chart time frame, it is really uh, perfect because you can read the chart, you'll be relaxed and do your day trade. So two minutes or five minutes associate associated with a daily time frame is it is really good for a day trading so now we have a swing trade swing trade you buy you hold overnight most of the time you want to use the hourly time frame or the four hour time frame associated with a daily or weekly 
time frame. That's how you want to do it. The reason is because you are buying to hold overnight or for a few days. You want to know the right position. But if you are doing it with one minute, you won't get the right position. You won't get the right feeling of the stock. So after an hour, you will see where your position is in a day. So you can take the right decision. So these time frames work better for a swing trade. Hourly or four hour associated with a daily or weekly time frame. But I will show you later on the setup. But this is just the overview that we're talking about. I will show you the setup in a chat. Okay. Um, now we're talking about investing. People will ask me, where if I'm investing, what is the time frame? This time frame issue with investing is optional. Some investors they don't even need a time frame. Anytime they have money, they go and they buy the stock. It's optional for them. They don't even care about the time frame. If the stock is up or the stock is down. They don't even care about that. They go, they buy every, every single day that they have money. Some people do it like that. But however, some other traders that know about trading or some other professional investors you can buy at a discount by looking at daily chart associated with a weekly or monthly time frame. They can take a better decision by doing that. So most of the time people that are professional, they, they might have the money but they don't want to buy at a certain point when they are investing. They wait for the stock to come at a certain level before they take action so you can do that as well by looking at the daily associated with the weekly and you can take a better decision by buying some good companies at discount price let's get to the next slide so uh, I will show you time frames for a day trading because I do investing but I mostly focus on day trading because I do it on the daily basis so but I do invest as well but today we talk about day trading setup the time frame that we can set up in day trading please subscribe to my channel thank you so this is um this is a screenshot that I've made just to show you because I know with uh, trading view you couldn't get it but this is a screenshot that I've made. If you look at the screenshot, I got a five minute right here. Then if you come here, I got a day. I got a daily chart right here. So, and if you look at here, I got a one hour. This is hourly chart. So this is the main time frame that I'll be using for the day trade. And this is five minute chart. So this every single bar, every single candlestick, that you see on this chart is formed after five minutes. After each five minutes, you will see one of these form like this. So it means that this is a five minute chart. So this time frame is five minutes. So I have the hourly chart right here sitting. I'm watching it too. Because I want to see what the stock is doing in one hour. What the stock have done in one hour. And I have the daily chart right here too. To see where is my position in terms of a daily a, a daily chart. In terms of a, a day. Where I am in the stock. So I can see my position. That's why I combine those three together to do my day trade. But most of the time... I stop using the hourly. I focus on the five minute and then the daily chart because I can see my stock with the five minute with my trend line and I can see myself in the daily chart as well. So you can position your setup like this. It will allow you to see the whole trade and see what is going on in the stock. It is really important time frames are really important it tells you and it gives you the confidence to take decision it tells you when to exit when to enter some point because when you see your overall position 
you can decide wisely. Let's go and look at trading view so we can see the different time frames that we have. Okay, so when we come to trading view, it is right here. So a trading view. In trading view, we have the a one minute chart, right? We have the one minute. We have the five minute. Trading view doesn't have. I mean, we have the three minute. It doesn't have the two minute, but it's not a big deal. You can still use the three minute. So you have the five minute, 15 minute, 30 minutes, 45 minute, one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, a daily, one day, a weekly, one week, a monthly, one month. So right now I'm on a um, one minute chart. So let's go and choose the three minute. It will be different. Let's go ahead and choose the five minute. It will be different. We can see the stock in on a different angle. So let's look at the 15 minute. It is different as well. So the time frame dictate what you can see actually in the stock. It gives you the overall picture of the stock. So see how the stock is doing. This is the one minute. It is different than the uh, two hours. I mean, it is different than the three hours. So look at it. It is different. So let's jump quickly on the daily. We will see. You see how the daily is formed? It tells you a different story about the stock. You you will know about the stock. So let's look. This is HI block, and this is not for any recommendation, just for educational purpose. Okay, I'm not recommending any of those ticker. Okay, so. This is another story that you can read about the stock. See how the stock move. This is on the week. Week one, week two, the stock have been moving. If you can read the weekly chart, it will tell you a lot and you can take a better decision, as I said. So practice with this and learn about this. It is really good. It is really perfect for trading because you know what the stock is doing overall. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned something. Please like this video and uh, leave your comment below and um, and give a thumbs up. Okay, uh, I appreciate. Please subscribe to my channel. I will keep bringing more things to you. Thank you. This is Free Trader and have a beautiful one. Bye bye.